this past month, from the Final Four in Cleveland, which I was blessed enough to cover in person, to the WNBA draft, which I watched from my couch in my pajamas, to the start of WNBA training camp, which was, somehow, this past weekend, to the never-ending news cycles surrounding it all, have been full of monumental, paradigm-shifting moments in the world of women's basketball. The women's Final Four in Cleveland averaged 13.1 million viewers. The national championship game, which saw South Carolina defeat Iowa 87-75 to cap off an undefeated season, drew 18.9 million viewers, over 4 million more viewers than the men's national championship game received the following day. Just over a week later, 2.4 million people watched the WNBA draft on ESPN, a 307% increase over 2023. The Wall Street Journal reports that Indiana Fever rookie Caitlin Clark, whose record-shattering senior season at Iowa, fueled by her signature logo three-pointers, brought millions of new eyes to the sport, is nearing a $28 million, eight-year deal with Nike, the largest ever for a women's basketball player. These are all staggeringly good numbers. But, it turns out, seeing a sport you've covered for a decade and loved for far longer finally get the attention it deserves stirs up a lot of conflicting emotions. I, of course, feel elated and vindicated and energized. But I also feel angry that it didn't happen sooner. I feel protective and almost territorial listening to people, especially media members, who have never paid attention to the sport before suddenly present as experts. I feel resentful that the women's sports community is expected to graciously roll out the welcome mat for people who have either ignored, insulted, or outright impeded the growth of women's basketball for decades. I feel guilty for said resentment, because isn't this what we've been asking for all along? I feel overwhelmingly lucky that I get to work in this space during this shift. I feel extremely anxious that I'm not going to figure out a way to be a part of the influx of attention and capital and investment in this space, that this whole boom is going to leave me in the dust, that I'm not doing enough to take advantage of it. And, perhaps more than anything, I feel a lot of fear over what happens next. I'm not alone in having strong feelings, I am sure about that. I mean, have you been on social media lately? Honestly, I hope not, the conversations are happening in all caps, both literally and figuratively. Everyone is watching women's basketball. It's phenomenal. Truly.